Hey, what's going on, everybody? If this is your first time tuning in to Tim's Tidbits, i like to say, welcome. But if it ain't your first time tuning in, I would still like to say, welcome. And hey, thank you for always pulling up to Tim's Tidbit and hanging out with me. And right now, you are tuned in to Mama, I Want to Trade. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in to Tim's Tidbit and Mama, I Want to Trade. If you don't know who I am, my name is Timothy Lee Rogers Sr. And I get on Al Gore's internet every single day and talk about the price action. But that ain't why y'all pulled up today. You have pulled up to hear me talking about yet another PDRA by ICT. And today, I must admit, this is a PDRA that I don't use often, but... I'm still talking about it. I'm including it because it's part of the PIM dash chart, if you will. I call it the PIM dash chart. ICT calls it the PD array matrix, but it's a part of the PIM dash chart. So I'm including it. The PD array that we're talking about today, bars, give me a drum roll, please, is the rejection block. <laughs> yes, the rejection block. The rejection block is not one that I use often. Um, I kind of look at the rejection block as the turtle soup by your turtle soup sale PDA. <laughs> and the reason why I look at it like that is because with the turtle soup, um, the turtle soup is kind of like a setup where it's like a false breakout right it's not really a, a pda it's just like a false breakout to the upside or the bottom so if it's a false breakout to the upside you have a turtle soup sale if it's a false breakout to the bottom you have a turtle soup buy right so a turtle soup or turtle soup sale that's why i call it turtle soup or turtle turtle soup sale pda so um and i don't use it often but again it's part of the pim dash so i included it or the PDA matrix, that's what I see call it. Call it the PD array PD array matrix. Talk right, Tim. So now let's see what ICT says the rejection block is. Right? So by definition, he talking about the bearish and everything. Just flip it over for the bullish. Right? Let's talk about the bearish rejection block, right? Says um bearish rejection block is when a price high has formed with long wicks on the high or highs of the candlestick or candlesticks and price reaches up above the body of the candle or candles to run buy side liquidity out before price declines. Meaning when you got the highs, right? The bodies are equal together, but the wicks are really long, making really long highs above the bodies. This area above the bodies up there up to the highest wick, that's the area of the rejection block. Then price reaches up into that wick and then whew, sells off. So that's the rejection block up there or the turtle soup sale. It's a false breakout. You're thinking it's fun to break out. It's a false breakout. And then it whew, turns around and come back down. Right. So, um. That's the rejection block. That's the way ICT um, talks about it. Now, let's see how little Timmy Rogers think about it, right? Equal bodied candles at the high or the low because it works just flipping on his head, right? At eight, right? So you got equal body candles. The bodies are the equal height, right? And um, candles have long top or bottom wicks. Bottom wicks are for the um bullish version the bottom wicks will be at the low right the top wicks are at the high right price moves back above or below either way you're looking at it the equal bodies right that's c so here you go you got the candles coming up to the high have a long wick it can be one candle can be two candles when i see multiple candles that's when i'd be like hey that's a rejection block that's when i pick up on it and notice it right one candle I don't pay it so much attention, but when it's multiple candles, I lock in. It, it, it make me say, hey, that's a rejection block, right? So we got equal body candles, right? Long wicks. And then when price trades back above it, you can anticipate it being rejected back down or back up in this area above the equal body candles, right? That's your rejection block area right there. As simple as that. 
Now, let's go and try to see if we can find it in price action. Like I say, I don't use it a lot, right? So I don't look for it a lot inside price action. But here we are with the rejection block, right? Price, equal body candles at the high. Um, that's A, coming up. You make a high whale well up here. The body of the candle close down there. The next candle close, opens right next to it. It opens right next to it. It pushes up with a long wick, then sails off too. So boom, you got equal body candles at the high, at the high of this price leg with long wicks, right? Right there. That's the qualification for a um, rejection block. And right here, this right here is a bearish rejection block. That's what the negative RB mean, right? There's a bearish rejection block. Price trades down and then price returns up and trades above the bodies of this candle at C right here. And then ping out, we get the ping out to the downside, right? That's your rejection block. As simple as that. <laughs> it's not difficult. I don't use it a lot, but that's what a rejection block is. That one really not that complicated. You go up when you make a high or make a low. You just have a long wick. If it's multiple candles, the bodies of the candles are going to be equal. That's what that's what sets it off in my head. Boom. That's rejection block. You know what I'm saying? When the when you got equal body candles in in succession, one, two, three candles with long wicks, I'm like, hey, that's a rejection block. That's how I pick it out quick. And when price trades back up to it, you can anticipate it getting rejected off of that area. It hit it, bang out. And then one more thing I say about that, I typically see this on the intraday time frames. I I really don't see them on the higher time frames like the monthlies and the weeklies and the dailies. It's more on the intraday time frames. The lower you go, the more you find, right? For the rejection blocks. That's just my back testing and experience. So that's the rejection blocks. Hopefully I was able to share some light on what a rejection block was again these are just quick introductions if you will to the lingo to the different pd arrays and later we're going to get into reading the price action finding them and get into some strategies if you want more clarification on rejection blocks you can go to ict youtube page and look at the video in his core content playlist covering specifically rejection blocks or you can just back this up and look at it one more time and see what little timmy rogers got to say about it man till the next time y'all trade safe i'll see you in the next one I'm gone yeah.